The LNP candidate has just cast his vote. That's right, Janie. Garth Hamilton, a local engineer who's the candidate for this safe seat of the LNP, has just cast his vote here at one of the local high schools in Toowoomba. He was accompanied by his wife as he cast that all-important ballot. He is still here at the moment. He's greeting voters alongside the Labor candidate, Chris Maybush. They're both making a final hour pitch to voters as they arrive to cast their vote uh, before polls close this afternoon. Now, uh, certainly this has been uh, really just in the past month that Garth Hamilton was pre-selected this by-election was triggered by the shock resignation of John McVeigh. He was citing the ill health of his wife when he stepped back. So Garth Hamilton has said some pretty big shoes to fill, although it is widely expected that the coalition is going to retain this seat. It was last one with a 20.5% margin and it's only ever been held by the LNP. Uh, Garth Hamilton, though, has been fending off criticism, particularly from Labor, that he is inexperienced as well as uh, that he could potentially uh, be uh, have damaging policies when it comes to the environmental approvals around Toowoomba. Big shoes to fill and uh, John did a great job as did Ian McFarlane before him. Uh, look this is a by-election and every election is quite tough you know. Um, I'm certainly not taking any vote for granted and that's why people of Green will have been seeing me out there knocking on their doors, walking through the streets, talking to small businesses. Um, it's very important that I do get out there and, uh, and meet with the people of Green. I think that's more a matter of what Labor is saying, it's certainly not what I've been hearing as I've walked out. It doesn't matter where I've been in Gumbungi, out uh, Pittsworth, Oakey, wherever I've been, overwhelmingly people are talking about you know, the, the recovery after 2020. Um, that's just simply not something that I'm hearing back from the people of Groom. Now, there has also been criticism that because this is such a safe seat, it does miss out on crucial funding by the federal government. We don't see the pork barrelling that you may see in other marginal seats. So Labor really uh, says that, of course, his, the Labor candidate says he is hoping, of course, to win the seat. If he can't do that, well, it's more about than agitation and, and about narrowing that margin so that this region could start to see some federal government funding. Anna, thank you. My aim is obviously to make this a, a, a Labor seat, but it will always be, in that case, a marginal seat. And from that, we will get funding into this electorate, like they do, for example, in Indi, based on Wodonga. Have a look at the funding that goes into that electorate compared to regional Queensland. It's chalk and cheese. Now, there are four candidates contesting this by-election. There is a candidate from the Sustainable Australia Party as well as the Liberal Democrats. They also have similar views about this being a safe LNP seat for too long. But look, with that wide margin, it is widely expected that the LNP will retain the seat. But we'll have all those details and the result on Sky News a bit later tonight.